Hello, my stamping friends. This is Renee Novak at BlessedByCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, and I'm here today to share with you another Make It Monday tutorial. Today, I'm going to share with you the amazing silhouette thanks dies that are in the amazing silhouette bundle. Now, this bundle is in the um, January to June mini catalog and it is still available so if you don't have this set and you don't have a demonstrator hop on over to my blog at blessedbycards.com for this set i featured the stamps and several cards in a previous make it monday so i thought today i would share with you a few cards with these amazing dies so let's get started so for my first card i created using the new in color orchid oasis and i simply stamped that silhouette with the tree and i decided to color it with some um, colored pencils i used early espresso and garden green and then i took a blender pen and just went over the leaves to make them a little smoother. And then this is that amazing, no pun intended, die. And it cuts out the thicker, this is the thick, and it cuts out the words in the thinner. So you have kind of a shadowy silhouette effect. And that is amazing. Now I did cut out the UR and I was going to put it on, but I thought, you know, that was just a little bit too much for my card. So I just put amazing. And, um, but this is how the U and the R look. Okay, so I use those. Now the other dies that come in this bundle are thanks. And the, again, the thick and the thin. And then the U. So I use the U here. And here's the R. And you could go, thank you. You are amazing. Now our dies do say thanks. So I'm going to show you how to just say thank you in another card. So that's the first card. And again, I just layered it up using the black, a little bit of black, and the black amazing on top of that new Orchid Oasis. For my second card, I use the Home and Garden Bundle that is also in that January to June mini catalog. I just cut out the, stamped and cut out this little shovel and colored it with some colored pencils. I used the gray and the brown. And then I just cut, um, using the die cuts from the bundle out of garden green, some grass. And then I just fussy cut some rock using silver uh, smoky slate. It looks like silver, but it's smoky slate. So um, all of the measurements and all the dimensions for all the cards that I am creating today are on my blog at blessedbycards.com. And again, I'll link it in the description below. But I used the thanks and did the um, early espresso and the crumb cake. And then I just, oopsie, then I just um, did my dad and I use the playful alphabet which I do believe is retired but we all know we use our retired things at least I hope you use your retired things so I use the playful um, alphabet die to create dad just for a really simple happy father's day card and I just use some designer series paper and I do believe this is from Europe peach okay so that's my second card so my last card, I have a couple tips for you. So sometimes it's easy when you're cutting your cardstock and you have a little bit extra left over and just enough to cut out what you want. And that is awesome. I love it when that happens. But when that doesn't happen and you want to save on your cardstock, you can use the very center of your cardstock to cut out the words you want and I cut out the thanks and the you from this is our new this is the new let me grab that in color and that is 
Tahitian Tide. Okay, so that's what this card's created out of. So I, all I did was, again, put it in the center, and now I'm going to use this to create my card. Okay, so what I did, and I'll show you, had a couple little samples that I was doing. So this is the way it's going to go, and I cut this down to fit on top of there, and then this is where... I'm going to show you if you want to make a thank you. Whoops. Throwing things all over the place. Here's the you, and this says thanks. So I'm just going to snip off the very edge of this. Pull that S off, and then it will say thank. And then I'm going to put the you. Now let me share with you how I created this. I took a piece. Oh, look at me just throwing things all over. All right, so I took a piece of just white cardstock, and I took the new Tahitian Tide stamp set, stamp pad, excuse me. And what I did was I sauced that up in one of the stamps from the Amazing Silhouette. And then I took a sponge and I took that sponge and kind of swiped it all over there to get this not quite as dark, but to get the sponge sauced up as well. And then I just stamped that down right like that. And then I did it again. And I again wiped it off. And you can wipe as much off or as little as you want, depending on how dark you want yours to be and then just again stamped and then you can do it another time if you want a third one and again just swiped it off and then just put that right on there and then what I did with with the already wiped off is I came in and I used that sponge to go around my cardstock in a circular motion just to create that background. And I went over the part that I stamped to get the leaves from the silhouette that are not stamped, a little bit of color on them. And then I know you, you all know how I love those little dots from the Hello Ladybug but I didn't want anything as bold for this card, so I went to the little dots in the Forever Fern. And then I just simply stamped a few here and there, no rhyme or reason, just kind of randomly stamped them all over. And then I'm gonna come back in with that thank you that I created and I'm gonna stick that down. So let me bring back in my white cardstock. And here's the layer that we cut the thank you from. So I'm gonna grab my snail. And just put a little bit on each area, wherever you would like. Put that right down. And then I'm going to take the piece that we created. And I'm going to mount that right on top. And then I'm going to take our thank you. Whoops, there's the U. Okay, here's the thanks that we took the S off to just make it a thank. And I'm just gonna put that on here. And then I'm gonna bring the U right back in.
And there you have a thank you. You could just say thanks if you wanted to because that's what it where we took the S off. If you didn't want the U, it could just be thanks, but I wanted the thank you. And that creates a whole nother card. So let me bring back in the one that I use with the home and garden, the thanks dad. And then the other one with the amazing silhouette stamp that I colored in the centerpiece to create an entirely different look. So those are three different cards using the amazing silhouette stamps and the amazing thanks dies. So that is our Make It Monday tutorial for today. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and share with your friends so you don't miss any future videos. If you need any supplies, hop on over to my blog at blessedbycards.com where you will find all the instructions and a photo um, PDF of all of the measurements and supplies that I use to create today's projects. So until next time, be blessed.